All righty. Hope everybody's doing okay today. Having a good weekend. Today, I'm going to talk to you and show you some modifications on these traps. Um, the traps I'm talking about are the Wolf Creek. Uh, really budget-friendly traps, good traps, if you like tinkering. Uh, straight out of the box, they'd probably work, but today I'm going to go over some modifications I do to make things a little better, we'll say. Like I said, it ain't a bad trap, and for the price, uh, if you buy a dozen, I think they're $8 a piece, and this is a big trap. I mean, it's very uh, comparable to a Bridger number three or Duke number four in a, the jaw size, but there are some things that, uh, in my opinion, need to be done before you can put them out, so we'll go through that here. First thing I'm going to do is just I'm going to set it. Uh, first thing you'll be able to see right here from the factory you got a j-hook that's pinched not closed but pinched and it don't let this chain link swivel so that's something there we'll mess with but anyways we'll set this trap and i will show you what i'm uh, talking about so first thing first we got her set here we go straight from the factory i ain't messed with nothing all i've done is dive this trap that is it first thing you'll see the pan sits very high Okay. Another thing you'll see on these traps is the dog is bent on every trap. I don't know why. Uh, I prefer, if I'm going to use a dog like this, I prefer it to be flat because I'm going to night latch the trap. But, anyways, so your pants, it's really high on these. What I'm going to do is I'll measure for you the jaw spread. You got, I'll show it here so you can see. You got six and a quarter, and then side to side, you're sitting at six and a quarter. So six and a quarter both ways. So really, you have a, like I said, a big trap. Some some states may not even be legal um, to put it on the ground. I mean, just depends on your state's regulations. This second actually. Video. just uh depends on your state's regulations and um laws so always check that before you uh, go about doing anything really with conservation make sure it's legal in your state with that being said though uh, first modifications i'll do i'll snap this off first thing i'm going to do is take and this is it's something i just got probably about last year and I mean, night and day difference. It's really a lifesaver with his J hooks. It's a J hook tool. Put it in the J hook pinch like that. And it's gonna open your J hooks up. See, so then I can get the chain off. So this can be a pain sometimes to get this um, J hook that's in it. If they're side swivel like these are, Sometimes it can be a pain to get the J-hook out. What I try to do, because I'm not going to reuse them, is I try to bend the J-hook if I can. Try to bend that J-hook um, like that. So that. When I get it out here, and like I said, it, it can be a pain, just kind of a tinkering process. Give me a pair of pliers here. Out of here. So, get this here and if you're a tinkerer on these traps, like I said, for the price, you, you cannot beat them. I think shipped to my door um, was a hundred, hundred and ten dollars, which was shipped to my door for a dozen. So. If you're a beginner or you're like me and just like tinkering with traps and having a bunch of traps, I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with these. So we got the J-hook out, throw him away. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center swivel these traps. So what I've done here, um, I'm not a welder. So if you're a welder, you can obviously 
um, base plate these traps. You know, you can just weld a base plate on with a D a D ring. You'd be good to go. But I'm not a welder, so I got these. It's a center swivel. It's gonna get crimped on. What we're gonna do is take a center swivel. Now they make um, the same company makes the center swivels. You'll find the exact same setup on a Duke number four. Um, is how they center swiveled uh, the Duke number fours. It ain't like your um, Duke 550s or Duke 650s, but it's the same style. A crimp on uh, center locator is what it's called. You can find them anywhere between 20 and $25 for a dozen. So what we're going to do, um, find a pair of vice grips or, you know, whatever you want to use. I'll try to show you guys what I'm doing here. You're going to take it. And just crimp one end down. Uh, I think these are rated for, I think, right around the um, 500 pound mark. So I'll show you here in a minute. Let me, I'm right handed, so where the camera's at, we'll just do it and I'll show you. Very easy, just like I said, you crimp them down. And, you know, the biggest thing with this kind of stuff is not to try to get it all done in one day. I mean, you can, but for me, it's it's kind of fun just to tinker around and enjoy what you're doing. I mean, some people will try to get it all done in, you know, 10 minutes, which is fine. But if you're like me and like tinkering, like messing around, you know, well, I think you'll really like like doing this stuff. So you gotta crimp all four sides down. So we're gonna crimp all four sides down. And make sure when you do crimp these, you crimp them good and tight. You don't wanna leave the the jaws hanging loose or anything like that. Because what'll happen with is if you don't get them crimped down good, one of two things can happen. One, over time, I'd say it won't happen immediately, but eventually they could get pulled off. And number two, it it may mess with your pan falling. If your pan hits set and can't fall all the way, well then, you know, you pretty much got a, a trap that has a safety on it. It ain't gonna fire when the pan is engaged or gets stepped on. So, okay, there we go. I got a center swivel on, you'll see it. There you go, center swivel. I think them are rated at like 800 pounds or something. It's, it's a bunch. So, anyways, we're gonna take our chain again. Um, and I gotta fix this J-hook, but for now, I'm just gonna take, put your chain back in the J-hook here. Once again, J-hook tool, lifesaver. I use pliers for many, many, many traps. And, you know, I finally, Said, you know what, I'm going to try these J-hook um, pliers or J-hook tool out. And just like that, no force needed. You can see the J-hook is closed. So that's the first thing. Next, what we're going to do is take uh, a file. You can get a file, you know, metal file anywhere. And what you want to do is, on your dog, we're going to night latch it. Now, you don't have to be like a sawzall and you know jam at it real hard if you will i mean just take your time with it in and out. now like i said these are dipped in a dye so Mine have paint, um, paint on them. So obviously I got paint in my grooves here. So I flipped over. There we go. Now what I'm doing here on the end is just flattening out that piece. You don't want no burrs or nothing. 
last thing I'm going to do is take a file. I'll show you real quick. You can probably see right here where my thumb's at, where that little loop is. That looks good. But there's a little bit of a burr on the bottom. So I'll just take a chainsaw file, something small. Just get in there a little bit like this and get them little burrs off. So now, now remember, I haven't straightened the dog out yet. Push her down, set it, lift your pan up. Pan's still sitting super high, obviously, you know, sits high. But now what you can do is you take and you pull this down to night latch. Like that, click. Now we're getting better, okay? Pan's still sitting a little high for me and a little crooked, okay? So all you have to do to fix this problem, people say, oh man, I got a night latch at mow or cut the dog off. You ain't, ain't got to do none of that. Uh, one, straighten your dogs out. Or two, I'll show you, snap it off. All I have to do is take right here where that dog is connected, uh, where your dog's connected, take a pliers, and it don't take much. Just barely move it forward. Okay, like that. Step again, see where we're at. If you go too much, you just gotta go the other way, but this small, small increment. So there we go. Pull down, click, and now you can see we're pretty level right there. Now, one thing you see there is that pan is still wiggling around. So what we're gonna do, snap it one more time. Tighten your pan up because this pan here, I'll show you, super loose. See, from the factory, it's just super loose. We'll take this, it's just a Phillips screwdriver, and I'm going to use a pliers, but you can use virtually anything, like such. Tighten her up. Now, I prefer. Um, on all my traps really no matter coyote set or a possum or coon whatever i prefer on all my sets to have a flappy pan i want to catch predators um try to keep the turkey numbers high predator numbers lower or maintain some people run four pound pan tension for coyotes yeah it's great but i mean you're gonna have coons or um even maybe a rabbit messing around and what's going to happen is they're going to steal your bait on dirt holes, and I'm not going to mess with that every day. Oh, man, had a little possum or something messing around and tear my set up and steal my bait. I'm not going to go for it. I want to catch them, eliminate them, get rid of them. So, anyways, here we go again. Set it. Pull down a night latch. Click. Like I said, sitting a little high still. Let me straighten this dog out and we should be good. Okay, so we're gonna take this dog. Straighten the dog out. Like that. If there's any burrs on the end of your dogs, take that file. Just make sure your dogs are good and clean. You don't want um, any birds or nothing on that. Just try to keep everything real good and clean. Set her down. Lift up. See where we're at now. Right there. So, maybe a little bit. You can always add a little more if you had to on your night latch, but that would just be going too fast with it. Bring her down. Click. There you go. So, that's the modifications I do, guys. Uh, if you want to have any questions, ask any questions you want. The biggest thing is, is just take your time and play with it, enjoy the process. Don't rush it and come on, hurry, hurry, hurry.
just enjoy the process. Here's some, I bought a dozen of them. Here's all the traps I've done. Like I said, I dyed them. I'll, I can do a video on dyeing if you guys want. Just let me know. Uh, Till next time, you guys take care. God bless and have a good day.